process mining. What is it? And how can AI help in optimizing your processes? I'm here with an expert, Veronica De Silva. You're a process mining expert, data mining expert here at UiPath. And we are here at UiPath Forward 6. We have seen some very, very nice AI at work cases. And now we're going to dive into process mining. But process mining is not something that everybody knows. Right. Can you give some examples and explain it, yeah. what it is? Yeah, so at a high level sense, we're taking data from systems mm -hmm. and automatically generating process graphs mm -hmm. that you can analyze to find insights. Mm -hmm. So what's great is that the way people try to get process maps today is workshops, talking to people, but it's all anecdotal, it's all he said, he said she said, mm -hmm. and you end up with a process graph that only scratches the surface or maybe isn't accurate. They think things are happening all the time when they're not, or things they don't think are happening very often are actually happening quite a lot. So with process mining, since we're looking at the data, we're seeing exactly what happened, there's no guesswork, and then we can make really deliberate decisions and know that we're making the right types of improvements. And how currently companies are doing this, they do it all manually, create the process, and then collect the data, or is it differently? Mm. It depends a lot. So some, some companies do have predefined process maps. They know this is how it should be happening. Other companies say, we don't even know what the current process should be, what people are following. So it all really depends. We work with both. Um, either way, it's we could use process mining to verify that how we think people are performing the process and should be is how they are. or discovering how it's being performed in order to make those process maps of how the process should be done. And we're here, AI at work. Yep. We have all kinds of nice graphs, how it re is represented. Yep. But how can AI help in process mining? Yeah, so in our process mining, we have a couple AI-driven capabilities. So one of those is root cause, which is when we see an anomaly in process mining, how do we know where to look and what the biggest influencers are on that anomaly? And so we have what we call root cause analysis, and it uses some AI-driven analysis techniques to figure out not just who's doing it the most often, but who has the most impact on driving up that KPI. And then you really know, okay, I'm talking to the right people who know why this is happening, and then I know that I can drive up, you know, up or down that KPI depending on where I want it to trend. And AI gives you the insights or also gives you recommendations what to do next or what to yeah, do better? Yeah, so in root cause analysis gives you that insights, but we also have um, an automation potential dashboard that can give you recommendations based on, hey, based on the data, we see that these are the activities that are taking up the most people's time. And then we have a simulation ability to say, well, what would happen if I automated this? How much time could I save? And in that, we're really seeing, okay, what's your next step? How can you actually achieve those savings? And can you give a practical example from an end user perspective? Yeah, yeah. How can so I experience this? We see this a lot in purchase to pay. Customers love starting in the financial operations just because there's so much opportunity there for automation. So in purchase to pay, for example, we might see invoice processing. And today, they're probably doing that very manually. They open a PDF file they copy some information, they put it in a system of record. So in process mining, we could see that this process invoice step takes a lot of time. It's a big bottleneck and we say, okay, hey, what should we do here? So we can use automation potential to simulate how much savings we could get automating. And then downstream, we have the AI capabilities to actually automate that with AI, like yeah. document understanding, intelligent document processing to automatically extract that data, put it in the systems. And so in that way, it's kind of that end-to-end -end automation with AI, right? Using AI not just to automate, but also in the discovery process to figure out what we can automate with AI. Yeah, and it's, it's a domain what many people don't even know it exists, and there's so much to gain. Exactly. And with AI, it makes it very simple as well. Exactly. Veronica, thanks a lot. Great Thank insights. Yes. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and we look forward to see you next time from Las Vegas, UiPath Forwards, number six. Number six. Thank you. Thank you.